What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at the new Team of the Season Moments card and it is going to be Lazaro to review today. Now I took a moment to actually look at this guy's stat and I was like, wow, he looks like he can play in literally, literally every single position. We're talking about striker, cam, down the line, CDM, centre mid, centre back, left back, right back, literally, literally anywhere. And he does look like, like the cheap foot birthday at all without that five star weak foot to his game so he has got 97 pace with the 91 dribbling the 86 shooting the 87 defending the 84 passing and the 83 physicals as well he is a five foot 11 player with high high work rates five star skill moves and a three star weak foot they even went ahead and gave this guy a skill move upgrade which is a huge w from ea now when it comes down to the chem style there are three chem styles you can use on this card if you are thinking of playing this guy in like a defense position so cdm center back left back right back any of those positions it would rather be uh, the anchor the sentinel or the backbone but for me i feel like the anchor chem style is the way to go because you're giving this guy the maxed out pace but also giving him plus 10 plus 10 strength plus 10 uh standing tackling and plus 10 slide tackling as well so yeah anchor chem style for me is, you know, the chem style to go for when you're playing him defensively. But if you want to play this guy in like a, let's say a left wing or a right wing or even a cam or striker position, the finisher chem style. The finisher chem style looks so, so good on this card. And you best believe we are going to be trying that chem style while also playing him up front in this video as well. Now he has got 99 acceleration with a 99 sprint speed. So pace should be as good as someone like Alfonso Davis team of the year card or even like an Adama Traore foot birthday card. Now when it comes down to the shooting ability, we we are looking at 93 attacking positioning with 85 finishing, the 85 shot power, the 86 long shots, the 97 volleys, and the 82 penalties as well. Does he have any shooting traits? He doesn't. Just imagine if this guy even had the finesse shot trait as well. He would have been completely broken. Now, his passing ability, he has got 83 vision with the 88 crossing, the 76 freak accuracy, the 85 short passing, the 80 long passing with the 85 curve as well. This is where the backbone chem style would have been helpful. While giving you know, while giving him like the defensive boost and the physical boost as well, you would have gave him the long passing as well. So I believe his long passing would have gone up from, I think it was 80 to like 90 long passing. So yeah, if you want to go for the backbone, then obviously go ahead and do it. It's just, I feel like anchor is the way to go. Dribbling, 91 agility. <laughs> For a 5 for, 11, 5 for 11 player, that is very good. He also has got 88 balance with the 86 reactions, the 92 ball control, the 92 dribbling, and the 88 composure as well with the five-star skill moves. Now, he's defending stats, 95 interceptions, 96 defensive awareness, 98 standing tackling, and 97 slide tackling as well. If we are taking a look at the physicals, he has got 80 jumping, 90 stamina, 92 strength with the 86 aggression. I'm telling you, this guy looks like he can literally play in every single position and even with the ability this guy gets, this guy has, sorry, he even gets good links. He comes from the Bundesliga and he also has a nationality that gets a strong link to this man right here. So the links are even perfect for him. I'm telling you boys, I'm, I'm not, I, like, I haven't even tested him in game yet. And I already know for 120k, it's 100%, 100% it's going to be worth it. But when it comes down to the positions, as I said, fullback, right wing back, CDM, centre mid. That is what I'm going to try him with the anchor chem style. But when it comes down to the what's called striker position, it's going to be the finished chem style, obviously. I'll play, be playing him like a 4-4-2 and a 4-2-3-1 and a 5-2-1-2 as well. But let's get into the review. I'm going to go for that scoop turn, give it to Lazaro, flick it into the middle, use that pace. But look at that strength, by the way. Oh, no way. No, we're actually going to hit the post of that, bro. Did you see that dribbling? The R1 dribbling with the skill moves as well felt so good of him there. Penalty? Oh my god, he actually gave a penalty for that. He actually gave a penalty for that. I mean, to be fair, looking back at it now, he didn't really get the ball. All right, there's only one thing we're going to do here. Come on. 82 penalties. Steps up to the plate. I like his hairstyle so badly. All right, let's see. If we can get this chip towards the top bins, is it going to be perfect? Yellow timed, and we are going to get the first goal with him. Neymar, give it to him here. Bridget, oh my god, look at that pace. Keep it going. Inside. Bro, he's... Nah. No. Come on, how are we not going to... Bro, the flip flap there was so, so good. It completely sent my opponent the wrong way. 
Sanchez, line it. There you go. Keep it going. Keep it going. Use that pace to get past Kazawa. We're going to bridge it to get that acceleration going. Oh, what a slide tackle. What a slide tackle from Kazawa. That was really well played from him, to be fair. Scoop turn. There you go. Use that, bro. Look at the pace, man. I'm telling you, him running with the ball is going to be such a nice thing to actually have in that right wing back position. Because you know, you're going to probably have him, have him on like overlap. And he's just going to be consistently, consistently getting in behind. Can I maybe go in for a tackle here? Well played. He did that with ease as well. It wasn't like he was aggressive towards the play at all. He literally just said, you know what? I'm just going to run in front of the guy and just collect the ball. He's going to go line. Or oh, he's going to try to turn him. We're going to catch up to him. He's going to turn. He is going to turn. We put in a solid tackle. And you know what? I'm going to go for a switch here right into the middle. And that is going to be a perfect pass as well. He done super well, by the way, to catch up to Neymar there. But that's kind of expected from him. Sanchez, wait for him to overlap. Good touch. Really good fake shot. Use that strength. Come on. Don't allow this turn. There you go. Oh my god. He actually kept it on. Referee. Referee. Sort him out. You see the way that he actually got the ball back from Neymar. And then this guy was like, nah, you can't do that. Just And he just took me out. Come on, man. Go through the middle. Should I go for a flip flap? Then in reverse, maybe. Oh, that was literally perfect as well. His skill moves, by the way. I'm telling you guys right now. It feels like I'm skinning with someone like Neymar. That's how good he actually feels with the skill moves. You can really tell how fast he actually does it and how fast he actually gets onto it after doing it. He's going to give it to Neymar. I'm going to see if I can maybe get out to my opponent. Good transition speed and a really good tackle as well. We have, by the way, moved him into that centre-back position and we are going to see how he's going to play there. For me, I feel like he's going to be absolutely solid there. With his pace, his transition speed and with his tackling ability as well, there shouldn't be a reason he should not be good there. Get out to him quickly. There you go, bro. Look how fast he actually got out to him. He's going to run back into his position as well. I don't think he... Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think he's actually going to win that. But I like how his defensive awareness instantly came into play there and realised that he needed to get back into position as fast as possible. Give him the ball here. Because I see an LBY once again on the other side. Yeah, boys. He's long passing. Really ain't it. That is the second time we've actually tried it. And it's literally just flew straight off the actual pitch. So, yeah. Long passing with this guy right now. Obviously, is not the greatest. But once again, if you want to go with the backbone chem style to give him the extra long passing, then go ahead and actually do it. Going to see if I can maybe cut this passing lane to Neymar. I know he wants to give it to him. And he's actually going to go ahead and do it. It's up in the air. He's actually won the header as well. That is so well played. I'm kind of surprised, by the way, he actually got there. Because he was a decent distance away from Dalglish when the ball was up in the air. But he used that pace to get over there really quick. Maybe go for a little bit of a pressure. Is he going to go up? He is going to go up. He's kind of sending me right now. There you go. He eventually put in a tackle. He's just waiting for the perfect moment to actually go in. And that's exactly what we did. Get out to him. Or oh, actually, hold up. I see, I saw that, I saw the run literally, literally last second. And he is going to be fast enough to actually catch on to it. And we actually are going to come out of the ball. Pressure him with tap so bar. Well, actually, he's going to go up. He is. We're going to go in for that tackle. And did you see the aggression when going in for that tackle as well? That's exactly what you want to see. And that was an LBY all the way over to a towel. And it clearly didn't work out. Through the middle, maybe. Oh my god, he actually went for a shot there and we actually ended up getting the block. I'm noticing, by the way, he's actually like really, really good at blocking. Like he gets his legs somehow like all the way up here and it somehow always ends up getting like a foot or getting a body or even ends up getting his head in the way just to make sure he gets that block in. Natal, pass it through the middle, give it back to him all the way over here. Decent touch, not the greatest though. Oh my god, I actually screwed this angle. Hold up. Bro, look how this guy... Can we get it still? We are still going to come out of it. Megidi's been cancelled. Oh, please. Please score it. No. Oh, my God. They're dribbling. This guy has... I'm telling you. Like, the skill moves with this guy feels exactly, exactly the same as Neymar. And that's how good it actually is. Get an RBA going. There you go. Give it to Mbappe. Give it back to him. Touch. Ball roll round the keeper, giving us that guaranteed goal. And we are going to get it. Nice little one-two play from Mbappe and Lazaro. And we are just going to get ourselves the easy finish. Fernandez, play that ball. Is it going to be onside? 
It is going to be onside. We're going to go for a ball roll again. Oh, stop it. That is just rude. That is just rude. We go for the Ronaldo chop just to get past the last person and we get ourselves a goal. But what a pass from Bruno Fernandes. So it is time to review and we ended up playing four games with Lazaro and we came out with four goals. Four goals in four games. We're saying that we played him in four different positions is so good. We played him in that right wing back position, that CDM position, that centre back position and obviously the striker position as well. And he played every single position literally perfectly that just shows that this card is worth that 120k and the fact that he even gets this link right here with Alaba makes it so much so much better when it comes down to getting this guy on full chemistry but yeah do I believe this card is better than foot birthday at all I feel like a lot of people are going to be asking that question I don't the reason I say I don't is because of that five-star weak foot. The five-star weak foot just makes a huge, huge difference in certain occasions in game. So yeah, I don't believe he is better than Atal. But if we are talking about his dribbling ability, it's better than Atal's. 100%. This guy, I'm telling you guys, I've said it multiple times, he feels like Neymar. This guy's dribbling ability is no joke. You saw how many times I was going for skill runs and you saw how many times I was enjoying myself while actually doing these skill moves. It was so, so good good to see but yeah let's get straight into the ratings pace wise 10 out of 10 no questions no question about it like the guy's pace is simply amazing listen there was a certain occasion that certain occasion where i was sitting there in a the center back position with him the next thing you know i'm out to my opponent and i'm putting in a tackle that's how fast he was it didn't allow my opponents to actually react towards it either he was that far so yeah pace 10 out of 10 shooting ability i'm only going to give him a rating for the for the shooting with the finisher chem style. Because I don't believe I scored a goal with the anchor chem style. And if I did, it was probably... I think it was a penalty, right? I think it actually... Yeah, I think it was a penalty. So, yeah. We're only going to give it for the finisher chem style. And I would say like an 8.9 out of 10. Just be careful with that freestyle weak foot. Sometimes it's going to go in. But other times it's going to probably go straight to the keeper. Or even miss the whole target. So, yeah. For shooting, 8.9 out of 10. Passing ability. Nothing special at all. It was, you know, quite average, let's say. So for passing, I am going to give it, I'll probably say like an 8.2 out of 10. Dribbling ability, 10 out of 10. No doubt about it. And that's 10 out of 10, by the way, with the finisher and the anchor as well. Like, the difference between the two, you can notice maybe a few little touches. Other than that, he still feels outrageously good on the ball with the anchor chem style. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for the dribbling. Defending. He put in one head of a tackle. He really did. His interceptions was really, really good as well. So for defending, I'm probably going to give this guy, I probably would say like a 9 out of 10. And for the physicals, I'm also going to give it a 9 out of 10 as well. Both of, the, both of those two last ratings was with the Anchor Chem style, by the way. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give him, I probably would say like a 9.4 out of 10. He is an outrageous outrageous card for 120k please go ahead and do this card if you don't you're going to regret it even if he doesn't fit into your team he will be an amazing amazing super sub for you but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace